It's kind of early for a load of artichokes to be getting in. Those guys must have made good time coming in from the valley. Looks like the market's going to be busy tonight. I'm glad I decided to walk to work tonight. It's a good night for it. That fresh air feels good. San Francisco always looks swell from up here. There's a million people asleep down there now. They probably wouldn't like to work at night. They probably don't know about guys like me who are awake and just going to work. The city's sure growing. I can remember when a lot of those houses weren't there. I guess it's because San Francisco is such a big seaport, one of the biggest in the United States, biggest on the West Coast anyway. There's new businesses and factories moving in all the time, and ships moving out all the time to places like Manila or Singapore, or maybe Australia. Funny thing. I've lived all my life right here between the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay, and I've never been to sea. Yeah, it's a fine night, all right, but I'd better get to work. Wholesale produce market. It's not too busy yet. The trucks are just beginning to roll in. The whole market's only about four or five city blocks square. To see it at this time of night, you'd hardly know what a big job goes on down here to get fresh food into the city. And people just take it for granted. They never stop to think how their food gets there. It takes a lot of food to feed a million people. Thousands of tons of fruit and vegetables every day. Most of it comes in here the night before, and all of it gets handled by a few hundred people. People like lumpers to unload it off the trucks. Porters to move it off the curb. People to buy it and people to sell it. It takes a lot of teamwork to run the market.
Each wholesale house has a floor manager like Charlie here to keep track of the shipments and to tell us what he wants done next. Me, I'm a lumper. A lumper's a guy who unloads the produce off the trucks. During the night, I work different places, depending on where the trucks have to be unloaded. But I usually start out at the house where my friend Al the Porter works. Say hello, find out what's new. Of course, no matter how early you come in, there's always some trucker in early to beat the rush. Hey, Elmer! You working in this market or ain't you? Come on, I ain't got all night. Ah, oh, keep your shirt on. Al and I have worked together for years. He likes his job and I like mine. Nobody's watching over us to see how we do our job. We know what has to be done and we do it. It takes more than muscle to move produce all night. You've got to know how. The old timers know the best ways to lift and handle crates of food and how to work together. Sometimes a load comes in that has to be moved into the house right away. When that happens, the porters have to keep moving and they beef when they have to wait for a stack of crates. So it's fun once in a while to get together with the trucker and stack up the crate so fast that the porter gets so busy moving the stuff in he doesn't realize that half the market's laughing at him. Looks like this is Al's night for it. Nick's coffee shop is a kind of club for the guys who work in the market. Almost everybody stops in here sometime during the night. It's a good place for a quick game of checkers, and the guys who play can count on plenty of free advice. A 
Of course, the main reason for going to Nick's is the coffee. It comes strong and hot. Everybody likes to relax and talk a little. Nick's in a good spot to pick up all the market gossip. He's always ready to help settle an argument. There's no special time set up for us to break off work for coffee. Guy has to grab a quick cup whenever he can. After lumping produce for a while, it's good just to sit down for a minute or two, take the load off your feet. Usually, I find myself thinking about the family. Maybe how we'll spend the weekend. It's only a couple of weeks now until the fishing season opens up. Man, I can hardly wait to go up to the mountains and hook into a few trout. I think I'll take my boy along this year. He's old enough. He'd get a big kick out of it. By the time Al and I get back from coffee, Charlie's got plenty of work lined up for us. The market's really getting busy. Right at this one house, several trucks are waiting to be unloaded. All over the market, in wholesale houses like this one, truck after truck comes rolling in. Strawberries, tomatoes, asparagus, grapefruit, carrots, melons, crate after crate all night long. Fast as the lumpers can get the food unloaded, each shipment has to be sorted out by the porters. It has to be weighed and graded so the right price can be put on it. The floor men are experts at figuring the price of a shipment just by looking at a few samples. It takes an expert to set a price high enough to make a profit and still low enough to meet the competition so the food will sell fast. daylight by the time the last truck is unloaded, and a lumper knows by then he's done a good night's work. 60,000 pounds a night, five nights a week. That's my average, and I don't mind saying I'm proud of it. Now the market is jam-packed with fresh fruits and vegetables, and even before the day has really begun, the retail dealers are in to take it to the neighborhood markets and stores. About the time I'm finished with my job, the rest of the people in San Francisco are just starting on the way to their jobs. Sometimes on the way home, I feel like I've been feeding the whole city single-handed. I like to walk through the morning crowds. They don't know me, but I feel like I've been doing something important for them. And I guess some of the other guys feel the same way.
Hey, Elmer! Walking home from work is all right, but after a night in the market, I could use a lift home. I'm kind of glad Charlie came along. He goes out my way. Charlie's a trout fisherman, too. I remember once in the days we used to take the streetcar together. We got talking trout fishing so hard, I forgot to get off at my stop. The guys who work right in the wholesale market get to like fresh fruit and vegetables. Charlie had some of the first melons of the season picked out. Nice of him to give me one. Nothing tastes better for breakfast than a good melon. Charlie's a good guy, always doing something like that. Yes, sir, there's nothing like getting home from a good night's work. Coming up your own street, looking forward to a good hot meal and a hot bath, the chance to relax and talk to the wife, and especially no more stuff to lift. <laughs> Did I say no more stuff to lift? Yes, sir, 60,000 pounds a night. 